Hey again, welcome back. Just want to share with you guys a neat little tool that I got on AliExpress. And what this thing does is it connects into a USB-C cable and it requests the USB power delivery different voltages depending on the position of these switches. And then you can access that voltage through these terminals here. There isn't much to this module, so on the bottom you've got a USB PD IC and on top you've got your dip switches. Now the dip switches are on backwards. So there's a little chart that I'll put up on the screen here and I'll also put you a link in the description where you can download this chart yourself. But all, all you have to remember is that the on is actually the off in this case. So this will be a zero value and down here will be your one values. So in order to get five volts you have one zero zero to request nine volts you have zero 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 to request 12 volts you'll have zero zero one to request 15 volts it's zero one one and to request 20 volts it's zero one zero let's see how well it works so putting it into practice now i have one zero zero which gives me five volts and it sure does uh, next is zero, zero, zero. Should give us nine volts, but this particular charger that I'm plugged into does not have nine volt capability. So be aware that some chargers won't have all the voltages. So zero, zero, one should give us 12 volts, which it does. Zero, one, one should give us 15 volts, which it does. And zero, one, zero gives us 20 volts, which it does. So everything is working just as it should. I did test this on a different charger and I do get the nine volts, so this module works. So you might be asking, what would you use this for? Why would you need different voltages out of a cell phone or laptop charger? Well, these kinds of things. So this is a TS100. This is a soldering iron that works off DC voltage. And you can feed this, you know, up to something like 24 volts, I believe. And so if you only have your cell phone charger, or if you only need your cell phone charger with you, you can bring this too, and a little adapter that goes into here, and then you could solder things using a regular cell phone or laptop charger. Other more extreme examples, this is a little switching power supply. So you can supply this up to, I think it is, uh, it takes up to 50 volts in, and it gives you a regulated current and voltage out and that, that is settable. So you can have a little power supply to test things with, with you at all times. Like these things are tiny just with the addition of this and a little bit of wire. Uh, and you know, use your imagination. What could you use 9 volts, uh, 15 volts, 20 volts for? Well, maybe another example would be to use this to make a USB-C powered device. A device that uses a 9 volt battery that you don't use that often might drain that 9 volt battery over time but you can make yourself a little adapter and always plug this into USB-C to use your device. The possibilities are limitless and the fact that these things are so cheap, link in the description, uh, means that every electronics enthusiast should probably have one of these kicking around. Thanks for watching.